You're watching Telecom TV from the Etsy 5G Infrastructure Summit. I'm joined now by Paul Bradley, who is Strategy Director, Mobile Services and IoT at Gemalto. Paul, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. How is Gemalto approaching 5G? Yeah, so Gemalto, we're structured into four different business units. We have uh, enterprise and cybersecurity, we have mobile services and IoT, we have government programs, and we have banking and payments. Uh, so 5G is something which will ultimately impact all four of those business units. So what we're looking to do is to build a strategy for our 5G offer, which is uh, touching all of those different areas and which is uh, leveraging the different strengths of each of the products and services within each of those business units. Of course, this is the 5G Infrastructure Summit. So what considerations must the industry take into account when we virtualize the network core? What we believe is that trust needs to be established from end to end and a chain of trust needs to be established from the device endpoint through to the cloud of the service provider, whoever is going to be the data broker. So what we believe is that uh, from the device endpoint, firstly, we need to ensure that there's a strong authentication for that device to the network. And we need to ensure that trust is established between the network functions. Today, uh, when we have physical components, such as the HSS, such as uh, the eNodeB or uh, the MME in the LTE ecosystem, we have those physical boxes. Tomorrow, when that moves into a software environment, we need to ensure that we can firstly identify uh, we need to make sure that we can um, not just identify but also go beyond the identification and establish a mutual trust and a fabric of trust across all of those elements to form a secure chain from that very device endpoint through that virtualized core network which will go through the multi-access um, uh, edge computing uh, infrastructure through to the core network potentially if it doesn't go through a local breakout uh, to the service provider cloud. So we truly need to establish a, a strong chain of trust from end to end. You mentioned the mobile edge. What are the implications of working at the mobile edge with MEC? Yeah, so, so this is an extremely important topic with 5G. The dream of 5G is to be able to change society. If we change society, it means that we need to kind of perform very, very strong data analytics. As we collect more data, we need to ensure that that data is classified according to who can use what and who owns what. Now, as that, uh, that whole scenario evolves, uh, a lot of the analytics will take place at this multi-access edge. So we need to ensure that data is classified as public, private, confidential, uh, secret. Uh, potentially, and that, you know, if data, for example, which is extremely public, is going to be usable to others, then uh, that that data is firstly monetized by whoever is owning the device endpoints that are collecting the data, and then secondly, that the security is applied appropriate to the level of confidentiality of the data. If, for example, it's something extremely public, like a temperature, an outside temperature, then, of course, you have uh, the temperature, uh, it's a public information, and it needs to be uh, secured as such. If, however, you have something confidential, such as users, uh, photos, content, whatever, multimedia, then, of course, that data needs to carry a different type of security. So we believe that the security needs to be adapted to the type of data flowing through the pipe. And does this affect devices? How will device security be managed with 5G? We believe that this security very much needs to be scaled from a very basic IoT sensor uh, through to maybe a set-top box, uh, up to uh, smartphones, going up to the connected car, or even uh, remote surgery use cases, which we often hear about in the, that 5G will, uh, will enable in the ultra-reliable low latency space. So we need to ensure that security is very much adapted to the use case and that uh, different solutions uh, be made available for securing the, uh, the, the, pr the privacy, the integrity, the confidentiality of the data that's being transmitted. Paul, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thanks, Guy.